the woman who predicted almost everything. Wangelia Pandova Gastrova, or as she was commonly known as Baba Wanga, was a Bulgarian woman. She was famous for seeing the future. Even though her name means good news, she lived a tough life. She was born on October 3rd, 1911 in North Macedonia as a premature baby and suffered from severe health complications. So as so they didn't even give her a name thinking that she was so close to dying. She got her health back but the bad luck kept following her. In her early childhood, her father was conscripted into World War I and shortly after her mother passed away, so this left her in the care of neighbors and relatives. When her father came back from the war, he got arrested because of his pro-Bulgarian activity and they confiscated all of his property which led his family to fall into poverty for a long time. After a while, her father remarried again and they all moved to Nova Sela in 1923. And this was the point when her life took a turn at the age of 12. Based on her statement, when she was playing with her cousins in a field, a tornado lifted her into the air and threw her into a nearby field. She said for days she couldn't move at all. And after a long search, when they finally found her, she was still lying motionless in the field and was very scared. But there was another problem. It was so painful for her to open her eyes because they were covered with a thick layer of sand and dust. And her family was still having financial struggles at the time, so she could only get treatment for a partial operation, which later caused her to gradually lose her sight but gain a vision. After going blind, she started to see the events that will happen in the future. According to Wanga, she had her first prophetic vision in the field while she was waiting for help. She started to predict the future and her predictions were coming true. The local people trusted her so much that her fame spread all over the country and important people like political leaders, celebrities, intellectuals and so on came to visit her to consult. Even Adolf Hitler came to visit her. She was not only making revelations, she says she could even see the whole life of the person she was looking at from the beginning to the end, just like a movie. In the 1980s, her ability to see the future, like natural disasters, predicting wars, political events, the life of the person she was talking to, the locations of lost objects, and even healing people gained her a reputation as the Nostradamus of the Balkans. Let's look at her some predicaments that came true. In 1968, she said, Remember Prague, remember Prague, great powers are circling over the city and they're screaming war. Prague will turn into an aquarium where fish can swim. On the night of August 20th, 1968, Soviet tanks and troops invaded Prague. In 1969, Baba Wanga had a vision of Gandhi saying, The dress will destroy her. I see an orange-yellow dress in the smoke and fire. On October 31st, 1984, Gandhi was preparing for an interview on a British television channel, but that day she gave up wearing a bulletproof vest and she chose a saffron dress that she thought would look better on screen. And on that fateful day, she was shot and killed by her two bodyguards. I didn't want to be in Parliament. And I told everybody I wouldn't stand, but uh, here I am. In 1980, Vanga claimed that the Kursk will be covered with water and the whole world will be poverty. People didn't want to believe her, but 20 years later, on August 12, 2000, the Russian submarine sank to the bottom of the ocean and 118 people on board lost their lives. And in 1989, she said, The American brethren will fall after being attacked by the steel birds. And in 2001, 9-11 happened. American brethren were the twin towers and the steel birds were the planes. In 1989, she also said, A huge wave will cover a big coast covered with people and towns and everything will disappear beneath the water. On Sunday morning, December 26, 2004, a massive and extremely powerful earthquake measuring 9.1 struck off the west coast of Sumatra, Indonesia. That earthquake beneath the Indian Ocean triggered a 100-foot high tsunami and it engulfed over 3,000 miles of land and 230,000 people lost their lives. She also predicted that the 44th President of the United States will be an African-American man and everyone will put their faith in him. 
The 44th President of the United States in 2009 was Barack Obama. I, Barack Hussein Obama, do solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States. But she was not telling the person the bad news about themselves to not to break their hearts. Like if she saw death in their future, she was simply saying come back later, knowing they can't because they will cease to exist by them. Rumors have it that she even predicted the Chernobyl disaster, Princess Diana's death, the war in Ukraine, and the other things that are on the list. It's been said that she made predictions for every year up until 1579. And to the people who were wondering how can almost everything she says come true, she replied by giving credit to her communication with extraterrestrials or invisible creatures. According to her, that was a secret for her beyond this earth mystical abilities. She couldn't understand who or what they were, but she described them as extraterrestrials or like clear reflections of water shimmering. And these creatures share the secrets with her that are locked inside the scriptures of many religions. All of our predictions that came true attracted many Bulgarian and Soviet scientists. They studied and tested Vanga throughout her life. They were determined to analyze, comprehend, and unravel the mysteries of her abilities. And they concluded that her predictions were remarkably precise and demonstrated an 85% success rate. And of course, there were predictions that didn't come true, so they were in the 15%. She saw the future, but didn't have the ability to change it. Now let's take a look at her future predictions. According to Wanga, in 2028, famine will be under control and humanity will travel to Venus in search of new energy sources. In 2046, the body organs will be cloned and this will be one of the best methods of treatment. In 2088, a new disease will break out and it will cause aging in seconds. In 2097, they will find the cure for rapid aging. In 2111, people will become living robots. In 2130, civilizations will learn how to live underwater with the help of aliens. In 2167, there will be a new religion. Pass forward to 4304, people will find a way to overcome any disease. In 4308, people will start to use more than 34% of their brains and will completely forget what hatred and evil are. And with the help of this mutation, in 4509, people will be able to communicate with God. In 4599, human race will achieve immortality. And the year 5079 will be the end of the world. What do you think about her future predictions? Do you think they will come true or will they be in the 15% of our predictions that didn't come true? If you like this video, please give it a like and I'd appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel and maybe you can share this video with your friends. Thank you. See you in the next video.